Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations. Thanks for stopping by. Today I have a huge collaborative haul. Um, just want to show you quite a few things that I've purchased from several different stores and the different plans that I have with them. So the first store is Tuesday morning and I got some of these really cute little flag um, paper clips. They're Project Life paper clips. And there's three different colors and I just thought they were really pretty. So I picked those up and I got two packs of those. And then I finally found again these uh, nesting dies and there are 21 circles in this pack which is such a good deal. And it's the We Are Memory Keepers uh, brand. And I figured that one of these circles may in fact also fit those bottle caps, um, just because there are so many different sizes in there. But um, nesting circles just always come in handy no matter what. And I think I'll really um, get a lot of use out of those. And then the last thing I picked up from Tuesday morning was this Stampendous Creative Palette. It was $12.99, um, and I had to really think about it, but it's like one of those um, jelly plates, and you can um, put things on it and then copy it to a piece of paper. So if you wanted to stamp an image and you wanted the mirror image of it, you could use this jelly plate. So it says it's for paint, uh, print making and paint blending. And I really can't wait to try it out. It's a big plate and it's real soft. All right, next is Hobby Lobby. And I got this paper pad from the Paper Studio. All their paper pads last week were 50% off. And I really liked this um, paper pad. I want to say Scrap Diva had this one and I just fell in love with it. And it was one of them that I definitely went looking for, but I picked up several paper pads last week just with the fact that they were 50% off. But I love those flowers. That marble look is really pretty. And of course, I just love the gold foil. Now I'm actually planning on doing some traveler's notebooks. And so I'm super excited um, to get some of these coordinating paper pads that'll kind of go together and it'll make putting those traveler's notebooks together so easy um, just because they already all match. And the second one's the Paper Studio. Um, this one's called Stargazer and it also has foil in it. And of course, I pointed to the unicorn because you know I'm all excited about the unicorn. And I tried to speed some of this up so I didn't um, waste so much time um, looking through the different papers, but I wanted to show you what some of these look like because that's what kind of helped me decide to even look for the Terrace Blooms. And this one as well. Of course, I was already sold on the unicorn, of course. Isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna definitely make uh, a traveler's notebook with that sheet of paper, I'm sure. Um, but all these others will look so good with that. Now, the other um, paper pad that I saw that I just fell in love with is this Fantasy Floral. This has got some of the prettiest flowers in it and the colors in it are so pretty. I think it's like a peach and like, ivory but look at those i would i really want to do um a traveler's notebook with one of those as well if you're interested in seeing those leave me a comment down below i may um try to at least make one first before i do a video just to see how well that uh, works out for me but if you're interested in seeing it then i would definitely um you know record that as i go along and We'll do a video on that as well. But these are all super pretty. And I kind of just flipped through all of them. Now these are two different trips to Hobby Lobby that I took. Um, last week was the sale on the paper. This week is a sale on all their ribbon. All their ribbon is 50% off. Now this is um, decorative um, elastic ribbon. 
and I've got a bunch of these. I actually want to make um, bookmarks with these. And I know a lot of people don't even use books now. We use a lot of electronics, but even for, say, your planners, I think these would work out well. And of course, I bought this in two different colors, but look at that pink. I used to not really be a pink person, but I am now. And these are some of the other different ones I bought. They were all $2.99 a piece, so on sale, they were a buck fifty. And this is a real pretty rose or flower print that's on this one and I just love that now these are actual ribbons and it's got just a stamped image on them and they were $2.99 as well now these are elastic lace they're so pretty they're actually in a row that contains a lot of headband um, stuff and I just happened to kind of go by there and was looking and I picked up a few things out of it. Um, I also picked up these fashion tidbits that are like uh, burlap flowers almost. They're um, nice and small. They're not real big. And I picked those up. Got some clearance items. I hope to maybe even use these on the traveler's notebooks to have a little charm to hang from them. And they were 40 cents for each of these and I plan to take them off of there. Oh, another uh, fashion tidbits that I got were these really pretty um, satin roses. Those are beautiful. And the Sewology buttons were on sale last week for half off, so I picked up a bunch of those. These are like a crystal heart. Looks kind of like a jewel. These are crayons. And then I got some flamingos. Now these knickknacks were not on sale. They're super cute though and I couldn't resist them. They were new, I hadn't seen them before, as well as these um, little mermaid ones. I thought they were really cute, so I couldn't resist those, um, but they were regular price, but all the Sewology were half off. I got these wooden look buttons. I thought they would add to um, some of the bookmarks that I'm going to do. And then these Sewology buttons, I got several different ones of these. These are square, but they're kind of in a pink, blue, black, and clear. These are hearts. They're in like a red and a purple and a clear and a light pink. And then I also got uh, these circular ones that are kind of like a rainbowish color. You can see there's several different colors in, in them. And then these are really super cute. There's butterflies in there, one that looks kind of like a clock and a flower shape, and then just some round ones with some different uh, perfume bottles. It looks like the like a Paris theme. Really cute. Um, I thought these would just, they're just wooden buttons. And then all these have kind of like just little pictures on them. There's a butterfly, a clock, flowers, a crown, a birdhouse. Super pretty. I really like these. And then I got these bead caps on clearance. And I got several packages of these. Um, they'll just come in handy and I'll show you later what I've done with some of those as well. Now these little blank slate um, gear mix findings, they were half off. And then I got this on clearance. It's just some chain. And I got two of them. I've got two different colors here. One's gold and one's kind of that um, nickel color, I guess. And they were a dollar a piece. And it says at one time, these were $10.99. Um, just a little one of the lock charms I got on clearance. And I also got this little charm on clearance. I love how it feels. It's kind of like etched. And I picked up these gadgets and gizmo um, tubulars um, pieces. They're small storage tubes and I plan to add those to some of my embellishment boxes, you know, and put things down in them such as ribbon or beads or whatever else, but I'm going to put them in the embellishment box. But I got those. And then I also got um, this Sewology um, elastic cording and I plan to use this with some of the bookmarks um, that I'm wanting to do as well as the um, stretchier uh, ribbon as well 
And you can also get this at Walmart. This was $1.99 at Hobby Lobby, but I want to say that it was $1.78 at Walmart. So if you have a Walmart close by, that's definitely um, more cost effective. Now these were really cute. These were flea market um, paper studio and they were half off this week. And of course I had to get unicorns and the flamingos are super pretty. And I thought I might add these to some of my uh, traveler notebooks. This is um, six pocket folders to go with your um, large um, planners. It's me and my big ideas and they were on clearance for 80 cents. And I figured even if I recovered them, that was still a really good deal um, just to get the folders out of them. And I really kind of um, like those lips. Now these are Sizzix Thinlets. These were $19.99, but it has inserts um, for what you can use for a traveler's notebook. And so here's what they look like on the back. And I do plan on using these in the future. So stay tuned for some, uh, hopefully some videos on that. Like I say, let me know down below if you're interested in that. Um, but it's listed as Traveler's Notebook Inserts. And then they also had this um, bigger die as well. And it's a Biggs large die. This was $29.99. This is what I used my 40% off coupon on. But it's like the cover to the Traveler notebook. And I can't wait to try it. I may even have to watch a video um, watching someone else use this first. We'll just see. Um, but it's one of the bigger dies and it goes in like your Sizzix machine. Now the next haul I have is Walmart. Um, I've got a lot of this elastic cord from Walmart as well. Um, this has four different colors on it. I was really loving the pineapples. And as you can see, this was the trim that Hobby Lobby had and they were all separate, but they were all $2.99 a piece. Of course, they were half off. So it was $1.50 and then um, this is another one from Walmart, which has like the tie dye, the solid pink, a light pink, and then one with the ribbons all over it. And I would say you could make about four bookmarks um, per color on these. I love these galaxy prints. They are so pretty. They really have quite a bit to choose from at Walmart and all of these are back in their jewelry section. And then here's the arrows and this really pretty light green color. And of course, white you can use with anything. Um, this one has the peacock feathers on it and the green with the ruffle trim is super cute. I love that. And then they also have these as well. Um, so I've already used some of these on some things I'm gonna show you later, so stay tuned for that. But they are really nice and a buck 92, not too bad. So next is a Dollar Tree haul. I got some, just a pack of 10 uh, Jot file folders. I'm planning on uh, using these more than likely um, in a traveler's notebook. They also had this set of 40 sacks. Um, these are smaller. They're not as large as the typical um, little sacks that they have, but I was hoping to, uh, that I could package things up with these really well for like a craft show. So we'll see if those come in handy. Stay tuned for that. And then last year they had these flowers in sets of three. They were very hard to find in my area, but this year I found them. But of course they're in sets of two, but they have white. Here's a navy, which is really pretty. And then they also have this um, vintage looking purple. It's very pretty. And I really like that. Um, I'd like to try to make some of these myself because just by looking at them, I'm like, oh yeah, I could totally make that. So I may even try doing one of those in a video. Um, this is a little notebook. It's a journal, um, journaling notebook. I thought maybe I could repurpose this into like a traveler's notebook as well. Um, I'm not sure it's going to work, but we'll see if that happens to pan out. I'll let you know, but it's really nice. Um, it's got lined pages 
it's um, glue bound so it's not sewn or anything. Um, now these little, little mini composition books are sewn. Uh, you get three in a pack and there's 50 sheets in each. And I really want to do some mini traveler notebooks. I've seen a few people make these and I just really want to try my hand at it. So stay tuned for that. Um, I do hear Walmart has a little bit better deal. I think their mini notebooks have 80 sheets per um, notebook. And I think they come in three in a pack as well, but I have not found those yet. But be on the lookout if you're interested in, in you know, doing that type of craft too. And then I did get some of these jot binder clips. Um, these come in real handy on holding the pens inside the traveler's notebooks or even your journal or your planner. So I got some of those. And I got some of these coordinating rubber bands. Now I like the way these stretch and of course the colors match. And then I also picked up some gel pens. These are in black and blue and I'm going to redecorate them and add them to journals or little notebooks that I'm going to redecorate. Now I did find these really cute pens. These are little unicorns with little fluffy feathers at the top and they have them in pink and then this really pretty blue and this mint green color and of course I love unicorns so and of course I had a hard time passing those up now this says it's stretch lace but it's just some stretch cording it's in the craft section you can add beads to it um, I'm gonna try using this on some of the travelers notebooks and it'll give me a different color um, of the cording and then these fastener dots you can either use these to keep your um, Traveler's Notebooks Closed or um, the Elastic Band. Now these magnets um, have been around for a while. They've come in all kinds of different colors, but they're really nice and strong. I'd like to redecorate those. And the next haul I have is Family Dollar. Now this is a set of three pack. It's a journal set. There's 30 um, sheets in each and they were $2. They were kind of expensive, but I wasn't finding this size notebook anywhere. So I did um, opt to go ahead and get a couple packs of these. And these are just the different ones. Um, of course, my plan is to actually put a different cover on all of these and um, wrap them in uh, something else between the three of them to make a traveler's notebook. These are some cute little sticky notes with a flamingo on them. And then they had these larger journals. Now these have 80 sheets. And I'm gonna show you uh, the size difference between the two of them um, side by side. So one's just a little bit larger and that way you can kind of see the size difference in them, but I may even make the two different sizes of the Traveler's Notebooks as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm shaking all around. All right, and they also had the unicorn, and they had one with a pineapple and a cactus as well in those sizes. So they are super cute. Um, I like the, the way they look without even decorating those, so that might be hard. And then they have this galvanized um, tray. It's a You Will Forever Be My Always. It was um, $3, kind of on the expensive side, I guess, but I love what it says, and I just thought it was really super cute. And then the last haul I have is Michael's. Now, if you go along on their end caps, you can find a lot of things on clearance, and that's where I picked those first beads up. I got some of those clamps. Um, these were a buck twenty nine. It says they were um, three ninety nine and four ninety nine, but I think a lot of these were more expensive, um, hanging up on the shelf. These were a dollar forty seven, and I got a couple packs of these. I thought these would be fun little charms to hang from the traveler's notebook. And the next few items are from their two dollar bin, um, but this week they were on sale for a dollar. These really cute succulent and cactus um, paper clips and then they also have these little wooden butterfly buttons um, and the other ones are wooden as well they also have these coffee cup paper clips 
And then they also had some Craft Smart stickers that match the succulent paper clips. Um, but these are word sayings on the back. They have all kinds of different sayings on them. Um, but they have the cactus and the succulent uh, planner stickers on the other side so that they kind of um, go together. I thought they were really cute. I also got some of the um, fruit. This is like watermelons, um, pineapple. And these are kind of fun. They're kind of holographic words on the back of these. They're like a, a silver color. And then I also picked up these little cute um, coffee uh, stickers. Um, there's like little macaroons, little coffee cups, um, coffee pots. They had these really pretty succulent stickers. Now all these, like I say, were a dollar. Um, and then they have these that have gems and unicorns and rainbows and cupcakes. Who couldn't ask for anything more? And I've actually used a few of these. Um, and then they had some flamingo ones. Um, kind of like some summer drinks. I love that little um, cup there with the little watermelon ice cubes. Too cute. Um, but those are really pretty. And then I also picked up these uh, little unicorn stickers as well. And there's actually two sheets of those in there, but look at all those little cute rainbows and unicorns. Then they also have these um, Craft Smart um, embossing folders, and it comes, a, comes with a stamp. And so they have that flamingo and the palm tree leaves, and they have this ice cream one with the ice cream cone stamp. And then they also had the rainbow um, with the clouds with the rainbow stamp, too. I thought those were really super cute, especially for a dollar. And then they had some other planner um, stickers. These are actually like little to-do lists or page flags. And then they also had some in the cactus. So they have a bunch of stuff that really goes together. So if you were wanting to use those, you know, for the month, um, they would come in really handy. And then I resisted this for a while. Um, it was actually 70% off last week. So I went ahead and picked it up. It was just a little mason jar and it has that cute straw. And of course a die cut to cut it out with. Oh, and I did find another one of these planner stickers, um, and these are kind of have like a purplish color on the background, and it's kind of like an ombre, um, but it has all these little words, and these are gold foiled, and all these are back to the dollar bin stuff. Um, these are some little binder clips. They were super cute. Um, of course, regular two dollars, but down to a dollar. Some little pineapple paper clips. And then they had some of the flamingo and the little cute drinks and a toucan. And you could match all those sets really well. And this is what I was really um, loving. This is one of the Traveler's Notebooks. And it's kind of like a faux leather. Um, it's got three booklets inside of it online. It's two refill notebooks and one craft, um, like, folder that's in there. Yeah, but I'm going to show you um, what this one looks like and this is what I want to recreate. Um, I want to make some mini ones. Um, this is the folder and that's that elastic band that holds that one in place. And then there's this little um, craft notebook and these pages are not lined. Um, but it's got another one of the elastic bands right down the middle of it. And these are unlined as well. Um, they also have uh, the, um, separate notebooks that you can buy separately. And this band goes outside the back part of it. Um, you can hang charms from that piece. Um, I prefer the bands that come out the middle section and go around and I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing with mine um, and here is a little travel accessory zipper folder it's got like three areas where you could put credit cards or cards in there and then the back part actually has a little zipper 
and you could put stuff down in it as well. And you can slide it into the back of the traveler's notebook. So it's kind of sandwiched in between there. Or of course you can use one of the bands to hold it in place. And then this is one of the traveler sketchbook refill notepads. It's of course the blank pages. They have some that are lined and even grid uh, marked. Um, and this is the Mermaid Coast Hot Buy note cards. These are $19.99 regularly. Last week, all their um, Hot Buy stuff was 70% off. Um, at that time, they didn't have the Magic Hour notepads. I noticed, or 12 by 12 pads, they are, are there this week. Um, I saw them yesterday but they didn't have them last week. And of course this week they're not on sale. But these are the little note cards and I kind of go through and show you all the designs in this one. And I actually pull these out, but I don't pull out the next set. Um, but they're nice, they are blank on the inside. And I thought they would come in handy for when I do some of my giveaways and some of my friend mail. Um, I thought that I could use these to put in a little personal note. Um, I have not made as many greeting cards as I usually do. And I love making cards. Um, there's a, a great satisfaction with making the cards. Um, but I, I don't find that I sell them um, very much at craft shows. Nobody's willing to pay um, $2.50 for a greeting card that is handmade. Um, but you know, they will go and buy one for like $7 at Walmart or Hallmark or whatever. So I think it has to do with the personal message on the inside. So this set, um, has the unicorns and it says make magic. You are amazing. There's little swimming mermaids. Um, there's one that just says hello and thank you. And this one is a really super cute set as well. And now I've done forgotten the name of it. Now these are little stamen that go in the center of flowers. And I'm going to plan to use these on some paper flowers that I hope to make in the future. And hopefully we'll create some tutorials for you on those. Okay, and then I've made some of these um, elastic uh, bands um, out of the elastic from Hobby Lobby and I've put on one of the lace flowers attached it to it and just used hot glue for this and it has that little gem in the middle and I'm gonna either use that around my embellishment boxes or a planner and then I've got these little crimp uh, closure pieces on the other ends of this one and I plan to use it for some bookmarks. So stay tuned for some of those. I'm gonna do um, a little tutorial on those. And then this one has one of the bottle caps on it. And I'm gonna use it on one of the little bottle cap um, craft with me uh, containers that I've made. And I'll have a video on that up as well soon. And then there's, um, two more that I've also made that have the bottle caps on them and um, upcoming will be some little craft with me um, a video where I show um, a set of bottle caps that you can buy and make your own so the last um, thing that I have is the Simon Says Stamp um, haul this is some different sequin mixes that I have bought and the ones from Simon Said Stamp, um, I want to say those were $2.99. Um, I really love the Sweet 16 one, but in all reality, there does not seem to be that much sequins in there. Um, like, I'm not very excited about how um, much is in that little bag, because to me, that's kind of like a tiny bag. And then, like, I've got this one from 28 Lilac Lane. Um, this is by Buttons Galore and More. Uh, premium sequins. This is a huge bag. And I want to say this one was $3.99. Um, but the others were $2.99. And they're, like, a third of what's in that pack. These um, by Pretty Pink Posh. Um, they're really...
really cute. It's a marshmallow confetti mix. Um, these were $2.99. And I may be wrong, but it just seems like there's more in those than what's in the little Simon Says stamp bags. And it might just be the way it's packaged. This is like a winter mix um, by Pretty Pink Posh. It's got some purples and a little bit of a blue hue to some of those in there that are really pretty. And then I got this so cute. This is Honey Bee um, stamps. And this is a nail polish bottle set. And it is so stinking cute. I absolutely love this set. It's called Shine On. Um, I cannot wait to use this. I actually had to purchase this set separately um, on the Simon Says Stamp website and then turn around and order the dies for it on the Honey Bee website. So um, those are that. And actually, I have one more haul for you, and that's going to be the Honey Bee website. Um, but Simon Says Stamp is a company that has tons of different scrapbooking supplies and card making supplies. Um, and I've bought a lot of things uh, from them in the past. I'm always... Um, exceptionally happy with their shipping times. Um, they constantly have coupons on their site and um, they even included this little five dollars off of your next purchase of five dollars or more and here's the little coupon code if you would want to use that. Um, but look, even the little images that are on the card are in a stamp set that they offer. So really cute. Um, like I said, it's simonsaysstamp.com. Um, I'm definitely not sponsored by them. I spend my own money to buy my own craft supplies. Um, this is why I have to work. <laughs> um, but this is several of the companies that they um, sell products for on their website. And it's kind of like a one-stop shop. And I really, uh, really love their site. Between them and Ellen Hudson, I, I've ordered a lot from them. So this is the uh, stamp set from Honey Bee Stamps. And it's the Shine On. And I got that one from uh, Simon Says Stamp. But I, like I say, I had to order these from Honey Bee in order to get the complete set. And they send you this cute little thank you card for ordering from them. And on the back um, is a little image that you can color. And it says, you are my sunshine. And so you can actually color that in and use it, which I think is really cool. Um, such a good way to recycle. Um, but I had to get the die set from them. This is the Shine On die set. Um, it has the little bow and the bottle and several of the words, like the U and the sparkle. And I'm not sure which one is the other one. Um, but that's the um, set itself. And it's so cute. But then they have this huge die set to make cards. And um, this is the nail polish bottle card, and it's their Honey Cuts, which I think is such a cute little name. Um, but it includes a huge bottle with a little um, perforation on the side, or not perforation, but um, where you can um, fold it on the side and make a actual card. And then the separate nail polish bottle where you can layer right on top of it. And so... You can cut out a color, um, whether it's glitter cardstock or solid cardstock of what color nail polish you want. And then it also has the um, screw on part, the lid of the bottle, and you can make that any color that you want. And of course, um, they send you a little thank you so much along with your um, bill. And they sent me this super cute um, honey bee along with a little die cut to cut him out. So I've kind of slowed this down so you could see it. Um, if you like these type of hauls, please give me a thumbs up. Um, this took a little while to kind of put together and I tried to rush through it as fast as I could because I had so much to share with you. 
And if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the little bell to notify you each and every time I upload a new video. And make sure you hit that like button if you like these type of hauls and you want to keep seeing more. Um, and uh, I, I want to work on the traveler's notebooks. I want to work on the bookmarks. I want to do like a craft fair series. And I want to start actually working on um, craft fair items. So take care. Thanks for uh, stopping by. And I hope you get a chance to craft it up. Bye.